Hi, I'm Jim O'Connell. I'm a senior resource ag educator with Cornell Cooperative Extension of Ulster County. And I'm here today with Bob Herberger from Hudson Valley Research Lab and the Farmers Alliance to talk about how to properly sharpen your hand tools. Thanks, Jim. I've got over 50 years experience in the field using all kinds of hand tools, and Jim has asked me to just kind of share my experiences. First, a sharp tool is a safe tool. If your tool's not sharp, you fatigue easier, and it's more dangerous. Well, I'd first like to start with my maintenance kit that I normally you throw in my truck or in the back of the gator when I'm going out into the field and working on the crops or in the orchard. Let me show you what I got in here. When working with different hand tools, then, a lot of it has different uh, moving parts. Some get a little rusty, so I bring a brush just to kind of scrape off the rust. Different files that I have in here, of course. Chainsaw file, a bit more of a specialized file. A flat file with a rounded edge. And a very typical flat file here. Specialty files that I have is the blue, the coarse, and the red is fine. These are diamond enhanced uh, files. And this is also a very favorite for uh, your pocket knife. And other things I have, of course, when you're using this, you should be wearing this also. Oil for your tools, a pair of gloves, and a first aid kit. And the most important thing in your first aid kit <laughs> is your band-aids. The tools that I brought in today to, to sharpen with you will be what I call uh, the axe that I throw in the back of the truck. I have the lopper, the hand pruners, the tweezer pruners, pocket knife, head shears, and the orchard shovel. Well, I think we'll start with the axe. So let's do that. The easiest way I've found to sharpen an axe is use a vise. Now this is a medium flat file and we just go in one direction, 20 degrees. Now I'm halfway there already. As you can see, this is not a particularly fine cutting instrument. This does a lot of the beast work that we have to do on the field. You'll see a nice little sheen there where we've removed that. Now since this is a uh, instrument for rough chopping, that's as far as I want to take it for now. What I like to do is the hand pruners. On hand pruners, as with the loppers, you'll have a flat edge, a flat edge here, flat edge here, and here's our bevel edge. Again, what I like is the 20%. So let me do the flat edge first, I'll get any burrs off and we'll revisit that momentarily. In fact, you'll see right here a little burr that's come up, we're going to get rid of that. Okay, now. The bevel, again, what we want to do is that 20%. I'm going to go over with the fine. Now, what I like to do, anytime we have a pruner or a piece of equipment with a movable parts, I give it a little shot of oil. These tweeners, 
tweezer pruners are basically the same thing. Flat edge, bevel edge. Yes, yeah, that's all set to go. Everyone, I recommend should have a pocket knife. Now the tool I like for this is a knife sharpening tool. It's very quick. <laughs> Boy, I'm ready to go right there. A matter of seconds. Another tool that I use quite a bit out in the field is the uh, popular loppers. As you may want to see here, this has a big neck in it. This thing has done its, uh, a lot of its work already. I'm going to try to just to sharpen that area up a little bit first. Maintain that 20 degrees. And this fixed blade has a bevel at this edge to try to move the flat material in. So there was that indentation where I hit something very hard, much reduced now, but believe me, that is very, very sharp and about as sharp as that I would want to get it. Most of us have head shears. Now this particular head shear has two fixed blades. Along this here is a 20% bevel, but it's different. It is from the 90 down instead of from the bottom 90 up. So what we're gonna do is just go along here That edge right there is ready to go. Now, our bevel here is on this side. What we can do is, and we'll, uh, because this is elevated here, we won't be doing the flat side here, but on this one, we will be doing the flat side as we do this. Oh yeah, that's ready to go now. And finally, most of us as horticulturalists and farmers and what have you have used a, I call this a orchard shovel. The one point that I want to make out is when these shovels are sharpened, if you will, is that I don't sharpen them to a point. I sharpen so it's like a, a 16th to a 64th, very much a ridge along here. It's not sharp. That should be, obviously, not a sharp point, but a perpendicular to the sides. It's stronger and will not roll over near as much. Thanks, Bob, for your time. Thanks for showing us how to properly sharpen our hand tools. This video can be found here on the CC Ulster Ag page and our Facebook page. Thanks, Jim. It's been my pleasure and also the pleasure of the Hudson Valley Research Lab and the Farmers Alliance. My name is Bob Herberger. Thank you for watching.